Okay, the question uh, that I need to answer for several is why do we use an ocular level versus a linear level? First of all, um, you know, I used to be like everyone else. I have a big shop vise on a table and I would put my gun in it and put my linear level here like this and tighten the gun up, get it closed, tighten the gun up. Uh, and as soon as I tighten it up and let go of the gun, invariably it would move. And it just wasn't nearly as precise as I wanted. And uh, so you could get it close, but you never really had the assurance that it was there. And so this system, this platform, the geometry of it is just much better than a shop vise, uh, mainly because, I, you know, if you're on a shop vise, hanging a plumb line, uh, I don't know if you can see my plumb line, but it's all the way down at the end of the pool there hanging. Um, you, you, you can't just do that anywhere uh, from a shop vise position. And if you try to move the gun or adjust the shop vise so that your reticle is on a plumb line, then you change everything about the levelness of your gun, which is probably off to begin with. So this system allows you to set up anywhere and it's very stable um, it distributes the weight nicely um, and so now I'm going to show you why an ocular level so I've set this ocular level up the width of that bubble is is a uh, 10 MOA uh, the full width of it indicates a tenth uh, ten thousandths of an inch so um, I'm sorry it's a tenth of an inch excuse me so now I've with an ocular level you can tell that there's forward cant in the rifle. With a linear level, a shop level like this one, you can just tell side to side, but you can't tell forward backwards. And that makes a difference because as you can see, I'm forward 10 MOA. Now I'm gonna try this shop level. And as you can see, it's level right uh let's see it's 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 as level as you're gonna get for a cheap shop level as you can see there but look what happens when this shop level is not perpendicular to the bore i've moved it just a little bit to the to the right up and as you can see i don't know if you can't you can see uh it has shifted to the right the bubble has and the more i do it the more it shifts to the right so it creates an error, and this is a very inaccurate level. With the level of precision, uh, if, if I had a, a linear level, uh, a machinist level of the precision of this ocular level, that would be a huge error. And you can see also, same thing here, see how it moved to the left. So can't uh, creates error in your linear level as well. So this is why, um, we want I, it's it's not wrong to use a linear level if you want but this is better and so that's why we're using it um, now the best thing to do is to level this gun to where that bubble is centered and that bubble width like I said before is 10 MO, MOA per, uh, per a tenth of an inch so um, half the bubble is 5 MOA, 5 MOA for um, a 20th of an inch. So it's a very, very sensitive level. I have another video which uh, shows you the sensitivity of it. It can measure the thickness of a piece of paper. And so now I'm going to walk you through the installation of the scope using this system.